Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ultrick Vox, and within a few months' time, whether if we're ready to accept it or not, Steven Universe Future will be a completed product. I know, I know, it has so much potential. Why would they end it so soon? It just got here! We have to remember, this was labeled as a limited epilogue series for a reason. We can try to twist and turn the meanings of limited and epilogue to give out the possibility of hope, but this was presented to us from the beginning as something finite, a one and done run of however many episodes. Which realistically, for all the reasons I've explained before, it's an amount that's likely between 20 and 26 episodes. The small amount of yet to be introduced villains in the opening we have left to tackle should say enough on how close we are to the story's completion. And considering they blitzed through 10 episodes in a single month, I'd be amazed if we make it past May with any episodes left, assuming we start up in March. And even that could already be way too late depending on how the network desires to handle this. Ultimately, you're obviously free to speculate on how long this series can go on for, I'm just a YouTube personality, but I brought up the end of Steven Universe Future because that's exactly what I want to focus on today. What is the ending to this epilogue? What is the resolution to Steven's ultimate conflict? His future and purpose in life? From the moment Amethyst proposed this question at the end of the episode guidance, the goal was clear. Future ends when Steven gets an idea of what he wants to do next in life. And for us fans, that's where discussion comes into play. Because when you lay it all out on the table, it's apparent, at least to me, that what comes next will leave behind everything Steven's used to, what we're used to. The end of Steven Universe Future will be the end of Steven's time in the place he's known as home. Steven will leave Beach City. At least for a little while, probably not forever, but for dramatic sake, let's say FOREVER. Let's talk about that. Of course, spoiler warning, if you do not want to know any potential plot lines for Steven Universe Future, please click off now. With all that said, let's dive in. Now, the idea of Steven parting ways with the small town he grew up in is nothing new. It's been floating around the theorizing angle of the Steven Universe community since Future premiered, and we got a look at two very integral components of the show's atmosphere. Without them, it'd feel as if we'd be watching the show naked. Not us, the viewer naked, Steven Universe, not the character that's gross, the show would be naked. Of course, I'm alluding to the title card and end credits, both of which serving to piece an interesting puzzle for Steven's endgame. These episodes begin and end with a visual of Steven driving away from Beach City, never in any direction to an implied location. I see you suggesting he's going to Little Homeworld. He's just driving away. Not too far out in the title card, as the temple is visible in the rearview mirror, but by the credits? Oh baby, he's just cruising out of the city and probably the state. If they just wanted to depict him driving, why not through the town itself? We know they have roads, even if we barely see them. Greg owns a car wash. But why would Steven up and leave Beach City, leaving behind friends, family, and voiceless extras? For being one of the town's most active protectors, calling it quits seems a bit sudden and frankly unlike Steven, right? Granted, a lot of his actions throughout Future were once thought to be unlike Steven. But here we are! Yet, I would argue that Steven's work in Beach City, the work he spoke up about in the movie, it's done. If Steven left Beach City, unlike when the Diamonds were actively trying to destroy the planet, things would remain okay. Great even. And that's not just because the conflict of the original series is resolved. I'm confident in saying if another threat reared its head in Beach City and Steven wasn't there to defend everyone and de-escalate tensions, things would still work out. But it's not because, in Steven's own words, the gems don't need him anymore or that everyone is moving on without him. It's not that he's useless or devoid of purpose, but in RPG terms, everyone's now at level 99. They still have lessons to learn and room to grow, but they're pretty rounded out and have a good head on their shoulders. And this goes beyond Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, but all the Crystal Gems, all the Townies. Steven has helped them all get to the point where they're no longer dependent on him to solve problems, internal or external. Not to mention, unlike Steven, Beach City itself was only a slice of the chronicles that helped these characters grow. Aside from tagging along on adventures or embarking on his own dangerous escapades, Steven's time has been completely spent 
plant in Beach City. The humans have had school, jobs, and vacations. Plenty of time to explore other environments aside from the boardwalk and their home. All sorts of opportunities to interact with different people from all walks of life. The gems have had thousands of years of experience on Homeworld and its various colonies. They spent a lot of time in other environments to help figure out who they are, what they like. That's experience Steven needs to gain. Traveling, sightseeing, meeting new people, making friends who aren't locals, aliens, or both. Steven needs to be, well, human. Steven talks about how everyone is safe to explore their dreams, but he's not really doing that himself. Think about the episode guidance. Steven felt as if Amethyst's matchmaking skills were too safe, that these gems were just carrying out the same tasks they did on Homeworld, and that they need to be pushed out of their comfort zone. But Steven is doing the exact same thing. He spent years of his life helping other people solve their problems, helping them grow and figure themselves out. Yet, after ending an intergalactic war and dismantling the entire empire, he goes back to do, essentially, the same thing he has always done. Albeit, I don't think there's any harm in Steven setting up the school, but if it wasn't for Lars's push and the events of little graduation, he would likely still be at the school, bumming himself out. The person who has spent his entire life helping gems understand humanity and how to even behave like a human is ultimately now more of a gem than anyone else, which would necessarily be a bad thing if it wasn't a toxic mindset for him. On that note, the lyrics of the end credits theme, Being Human, very much feed into this theory. The song revealing the desires of needing time away from everything to to try something new in place of the same old routine, dreaming of being human. Now, music is subjective and open to interpretation, especially when it's anchored to a television series, but Future, more than even the original Steven Universe series, is explicitly about Steven and his resolve in life. Thus, unlike the previous end theme, Love Like You, which was confirmed by Sugar herself to be as subjective as possible, being human is a lot more applicable to Steven than any of the other characters out of our cast. In order to truly find out what he wants to do for the rest of his life, Steven needs time away from his life as it is. He needs to do something beyond trying to fix everyone. I mean, for the love of God, the man tried to jump to tending to plants, because of course they're dependent on their caretaker to thrive. And even that backfired on him as a plant gained sentience and left him in the dust after putting his issues on blast. Now, Steven doesn't need to part ways with Beach City in order to find new people to help, because even if he traversed to every part of the planet and befriended as many people as possible, he'd eventually find himself in the same corner he is now, realistically, quite a few times. I don't believe he needs to go to other planets throughout the universe, unless he plans on not lifting a single finger. All right, obviously he'll help out in situations that call for common courtesy and dangerous scenarios that I don't even need to be questioned, but I think he just needs to get in his car and go. Actually see the world through the lens of a human being and not as a gem warrior. No powers, no underlying agenda, just learning, growing, and seeing. And before we get to the next point, I'll say it before and I'll say it again, I never want to speculate heavily on one's personal life and invade their privacy, so I asked to not read too much into anything. But Steven's voice actor Zach Callison did say last year that Steven's arc has become one with where he is in life, and as you may know, know, after finishing up all the recording for Future last summer, Zach embarked on his own journey across the world. The arcs of my life and Steven's life have, uh, they've, they become one at this point, um, in, in so many ways, and it, it's, it's, I can't even like. Hey guys, it's Zach, I play Steven, uh, I just wanted to thank you guys all for being here and apologize for not being able to be there myself. I'm about 10,000 miles away today, unfortunately, but I wanted to be here in spirit. He's entitled to his privacy, no need to look into anything beyond that. But come on, when you lay those two factors out on the table, you're kind of left to imagine. If Steven vs. Future ends with Steven taking time off to travel the world, could that have inspired Zach himself to take this time finally being done with the role of a character, at least for now, to do some soul searching of his own? Or did he plan to take time time off early enough for the crew universe to incorporate into the story for Steven's own resolution. After all, Steven's jacket after the time skip is a result of Zack's own fashion sense, so neither route sounds too far-fetched. And a bonus factor, if Steven's house is further damaged and legitimately destroyed, as Aquamarine demanded, it would leave him out of a place to sleep while Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl still have the temple and their respective rooms. So Steven taking time off in the span that it would take to reconstruct the house, a 
again, wouldn't be a bad call. This takes us to the question of who would Steven leave with? Would he just go off on his own, taking a solo adventure to see where the road takes him, or would he take a companion? I'm sure the Crystal Gems would love to go with him, but they have their own responsibilities with little homeschool and keeping tabs on the gem affairs that now keep Beat City up and running. Considering this would be the resolve for his own personal problems, him going at it alone would be bittersweet, but a logical ending. Maybe Greg will tag along in this adventure. After all, father and son sticking together sounds like an appropriate measure, Greg has his own experience road tripping from the Mr. Universe days, and we have yet to see Steven pick up an acoustic guitar, something his old man would love to teach him. Though honestly, that is likely something we'll see in the opening of an episode soon. It just makes sense to Steven's current phase of trying new things to occupy himself. But if not Greg, perhaps Steven leaves with Connie. Now I've seen a lot of fans suggest Steven could tag along with Connie to college, but I don't see that happening. One, I think a very important aspect of Steven's character is his lack of traditional education. It shows you can be successful and grow up with a great head on your shoulders without going to school. And two, Connie was said to be two years off from just applying to colleges in little homeschool. And I don't believe two whole years are going to fly by the end of the future. Not to mention, Steven has to let her do her own thing. And it wouldn't do him a service be as meaningful for Steven if he was just riding off someone else's coattails. However, as Steven's love interest, a big influence on his life, and a fellow human being, I still think it's possible they could go and see the world over the course of a summer break. I think Steven and Connie have been present in each other's lives long enough for her parents to allow such an endeavor. And come on, Steven's a walking hospital if anything went wrong. And they sent her off to space camp, and actual space, twice, so there shouldn't be any objections there. If Steven was to leave Beach City temporarily, because I can't see him ever leaving for good for the rest of his prolonged hybrid life, I would want it to be him leaving with Connie. I also think it'd ultimately be an important message to send to answer the question of what Steven wants for his own future with, I'm not sure, but I think some time away to see the world will help me figure it out. We have to remember, Steven's a teenager. Whether if you want to call him an adult or child, no one has it all figured out at his age. It leaves his future up to the viewer's imagination, keeping the door open for more, comics, games, or HBO Max continuations. And it leaves an impact on the viewers who grew up with Steven, who also don't know what they want to do for the rest of their lives yet. Being assured, that's okay. Seeing that not even an intergalactic prince can figure it out, that speaks volumes. Although I just preached this entire video about how Steven needs to learn how to be more human, so that title probably doesn't help. So hopefully, this video isn't a laughing stock in a few months' time. Time. This video has no sponsor, but I would like to plug the Roundtable Teespring, a place to get your hands on t-shirts, hoodies, and all sorts of goodies inspired by the animated series we cover right here on the channel. Some great designs include Cartoons Are Cool, Player Select, and OK Roundtable Let's Be Content Creators. But there's also a plethora of Steven Universe inspired designs. The diamond shirts, such as Hello Starlight and I'm Just As Important As You, alongside Steamboat Spinelli, Bat Courts. Pink Lasagna, and Net Gang. That's just naming a few. Now, buying any of this merch is more than just putting money in our pockets. It directly supports the artist, and I really would like to use some of the funds for a super secret cartoon pitch that me and Nemo are cooking up. It'd be an animatic, nothing too crazy, but my biggest goal for 2020 is to put something out into the world that pertains to the idea of this cartoon. And if you use the code CRYSTAL, you can get 20% off your purchase until May 2020. Link to the Teespring in the description. Now back to your video. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. What do you think? Could Steven Universe Future conclude with Steven parting ways from his hometown? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at OstrichVox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda, and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. Help the Untable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Austric Fox, signing out.